using history. The bash command history will return a history of the commands that I have recently typed. That is, a log of the commands I've recently typed. As you can see, that log is pretty long. For this reason, we sometimes want to pipe the output of history into tail if we're only interested in the last few previously used commands. This command is one that I use to start a video. As you can see, I've had to restart this video several times already. I can use the numbers from these commands in order to execute them again using this shortcut bang followed by the number of the command we're back at the title slide If I were to type two bangs, that is a shortcut for the last command executed. Again, I've produced the title slide for this presentation. Where is this information recorded? Bash will keep track of the commands that you have typed in a hidden file of your home directory called bash history. This file contains many of the commands that I have used on the CL server from long ago. Take a look at the tail of the history file and compare that with the output of history piped into tail. You'll notice that these two records are not exactly the same. In other words, the history command does not give me bash history exactly. Rather, this is an ongoing record of not only commands I have used in previous sessions, but also of commands I have been using for this session. Bash history is updated every time that I exit. And so it makes sense that the last command in my bash history was exit. We can demonstrate this by typing a recognizable command. I don't think I've typed this command in quite a while, if ever. There. 
there is our hi there kitty command. But hi there kitty is nowhere to be found at the end of bash history. So what happens if I log out and log back in? You may have noticed that I used a shortcut for using SSH. That's a topic for another time. For now, let's look at the bash history. Notice I can still use my up arrow to return to commands I used in a previous session. Notice also that the bash history has now been updated. There's our hi there kitty command. Let's look at one final trick when it comes to history. I'm going to press control R. I've now entered an incremental search for previous commands. So let's say that I know I've recently typed a command that has the word kitty, but I can't remember exactly what that command was. I can use Control R, as I've already done, and start typing in the word that I know is there. K was enough to return hello there kitty, or hi there kitty. At this point, I can use Control J to paste the command into the prompt, or I can simply hit Enter and execute the command. Let's perform the same search. By typing K, that was enough to find Hi There Kitty. Now I'll hit Control J. Now the command has been pasted into the prompt, but has not yet been executed. And so, if I want to make changes to that command, I can do so. That was a lot easier than typing out the full command from scratch. Say I wanted to remember the last command I used using get. I simply typed control R to enter reverse incremental search and then typed in G I T. So as you can see, the last command that I entered using get was get status. which doesn't work in a directory that is not a Git repository.